Tonight, some people in the Belton community joined thousands across the nation to protest ending police brutality. Six News reporter Nikki Latarulo was there and has more on what protesters had to say. Hey, Nikki. Yeah, hey Jasmine, the protest started at 7 p.m. tonight and just wrapped up. And as you can see, there are still some people here. They're at the statue and there also are some members of Belton PD out here. They were here throughout the duration of the protest and everything did remain calm. They were just here to make sure nothing got out of hand and it did not. And there was over 200 plus people here tonight. Hashtag black in Belton. Hashtag black. In Belton. This evening, hundreds of people surrounded the Bell County Courthouse to protest and shed light on the racism many people still feel exists in Central Texas. It is not for you to believe in or not believe in because whether you like it or not, it is real. I'm not here to make any of you feel good about yourselves. I'm sorry. The event was organized by Temple native Patrick Aaron, whose main goal was to light a fire beneath people to take action and want to see change within their community, which to many it has. I grew up in Belton, so it was personal and I just want people to open their minds and hearts to issues that are affecting others and just hoping that everyone has the same opportunities. Present were dozens of people from Texas Open Carry who were there to protect the protesters and the First Amendment. It has no, no difference whether I agree with it or I disagree with it. They have the First Amendment right and uh, we're here to show that and uh, preserve it. While the main talking point tonight was racism and police brutality, the Confederate statue that sits in front of the courthouse was also heavily discussed. I could not imagine being a person of color or knowing what that represents because it, it got to me. That discussion had many people upset and here to counter protest their feelings on why the statue should stay. But that didn't take away from today's event. It's not about the statue today. It's not about the elections coming up. It's about what people are facing. We don't want to see another unarmed person die. And here in Bell County, they will continue to fight till changes are made. And tonight's protest was Patrick Aaron's 11th one he's held. He has held them in bigger cities, but he said it's equally as important to hold them in smaller cities like here in Belton. For now, reporting live in Belton, Nikki Latarulo, 6 News. All right, thank you, Nikki.